All right, we are back with another Pick'em video. Going to be talking NBA in this one. We got three more playoff games, uh, and ultimately we're going to bring you guys three plays that I like from each game, one from each game, which works out pretty well. Um, but I thought I'd do a little breakdown of who's playing, and then we'll jump right into the picks from there. Uh, but if you're new around here, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Rip out daily content th like this most days. Didn't get to it uh, this weekend, just because Saturday there were early games, and then Sunday I have this superstition that there's you know games don't go the way you think they are on Sundays. Uh, so we did stay away from video picks, but we went to it very lightly in the Discord uh, and ended up having a great day. We swept prize picks and we swept underdog, um, which you know we needed in a, a tough month of April. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you are new. Leave the video like, comment anything down below. Just tells YouTube to push this video out a little bit more. Uh, but the three games we got, we got the Celtics and the Heat. This is game four, uh, and we've seen this movie before. How the Heat going to come out and shock the world once again? They already did it taking game two. Um, but the Celtics are down in Miami still at the best. You know, they can go out and blow out this Heat team. Um, but Spolstra might, you know, come up with some crazy scheme to limit these guys. The Celtics might shoot themselves in the foot like they've done many, many times. Um, so we could come out of Miami with a 2-2 series tied up going back to Boston or a commanding 3-1 series lead for the Celtics. I'm not predicting anything. I just want them to win. You know, we'll see what happens there. But I do have a pick in that game later on. Then we got the Thunder and the Pelicans. If I had to choose this one, I would say that the Pelicans are getting swept tonight. Obviously, Zion goes down. That's a tough blow for the Pelicans. But Ingram is locked in chains right now. Lou Dort, they call it the Dorcher Chamber for a reason. He can't do anything. CJ McCollum has been bad. Jonas Valanciunas, a guy that's had decreasing minutes the entire season, looks like their best player sometimes um, with the kind of a mismatch with Chet. But even on the other side, Chet's been playing extremely well, taking Jonas out of the paint whenever he needs to. Blocking shots left and right. Shea's playing well. J-Dub's playing well. They're just rolling. I don't care that the Pelicans are home. Can they steal one? Yes, of course. This is the NBA. Uh, but if I had to pick, I'd say the Thunder are going to you know, sweep this team tonight. Then we got the Lakers in the Nuggets. This is game five in this series. Obviously, the Lakers extended this one, winning game four. But now we're going back to Denver. You know, the altitude is one thing. The Nuggets fans are another thing. And the Nuggets just play extremely well in that stadium. Uh, so the Lakers don't stand too much of a chance. I'm sure this is a seven, eight point, nine point spread in, in favor of the Nuggets. But I will say LeBron is ageless. He's been playing extremely well. AD's actually been playing extremely well too. I don't think he's getting a lot of credit. Um, it's gonna come up to, is Reeves gonna shoot the ball well? Is, is D'Lo gonna be able to play well? Are these other guys gonna be able to step up with LeBron, with AD playing well uh, to have a chance in this one? Um, yeah, potentially three blowouts, higher seeds playing lower seeds. But again, anything can happen in, uh, in the NBA. All right, so I got the prize picks desktop screen pulled up right here. Um, I used like to use prize fix for these videos because I like that they have fun lines. They have dunk lines. They got like three-pointers attempted, offensive rebounds, lines that you can't find on a lot of other places, uh, but then they obviously have the normal lines as well. So at least one of these is going to be uh, universal. You'll be able to find it anywhere. Uh, but if you're not on prize fix, highly recommend checking it out. You can actually get a $100 welcome bonus using my code in the description. Also kicks back a little bit my way. So I offer you a free month of my Discord if you do go ahead and use that code. Um, there's also other DFS platforms that I highly recommend, tools and anything like that that I'm using in today's video. You'll see descriptions for either discounts, free trials, or whatever it might be. Um, but the first guy I'm gonna go to, talked about him in the intro here, is Brandon Ingram, uh, AKA Lou Dort's child, uh, under 32.0 PRA. Uh, another reason why Prize Picks is awesome for this is because they give you fixed payout system, which to anyone else like that doesn't do the research and things doesn't seem like a crazy advantage. Uh, but for someone that has access to a bunch of tools and does deep dives on these things, you can find market inefficiencies. And this is one of those times. So everywhere else, this line's at 31 and a half. So we're taking it at 32, which means he needs 33 to beat us. Um, so we're getting great odds, great market value on this one. But we'll talk about that, that a little bit later. Um, but 32.0, we talked about him getting locked up by Lou Dort. Hasn't been able to get it going really the past 15 games or so. And we can see that on his outlier page. So I got his outlier page pulled up. Another tool, highly recommend checking out. Free week if you want to use my link in the description. Uh, we can see the head-to-head -head here. That's what we want to be looking at. Uh, they played each other three times this season. Obviously three of these games being in the playoffs. And he hasn't even come close to this line. Um, in the two games last year, yes, he crossed this. Uh, but I don't know if he's not right with that knee contusion. He has been injured. Um, but he hasn't been able to hit this line against this team or really anyone in the last 15 games. Uh, so I do like to see the head-to-head, -head, obviously. 2023 as a whole, under 57% of games. A lot of these games coming recently started off the year really hot, uh, but I don't know how many games this is. 15 or so games uh, he's stayed under uh, with only one game going over recently. So 
Uh, Zion or not, he's been going under. Again, knee contusion kind of happened, I think, right around this game or so. Yeah, right around here. Uh, and hasn't really been d doing well since then. So it's hard to score when you don't get the ball. And, uh, and Lou Dort hasn't been able to let him do much of anything. Um, so yeah, loving this play. Ingram under 32.0 PRA. And again, it's not just the not the hit rate, not just the matchup. We want to look at the odds, the market value. I kind of alluded it to uh, to that at the beginning of this, uh, but we can see that right here. DG Fantasy, another tool, shows you market value. Highly, highly recommend it. You this is how you get mathematical advantage uh, on these uh, different DFS platforms. PRA 32.0. They're saying take the under 52.45% chance to hit. Why is that? Every other place has this at 31.5, and some of these places are even at 31.5 and still favored to go under this line. So uh, we're getting great market value on prize picks, taking it at 32.0, and then put that on top of how poorly he's played against this Thunder team, and this one's looking really good for us. So I think Thunder come out, kill these guys tonight, and uh, it's a sweep, and we'll see Brandon Ingram stay under this line. So that's going to be our first play of the video. All right, so moving on to our next play of the video. This is kind of a niche prize picks play. So again, I encourage anyone watching to get prize picks. They have all these different types of plays. And uh, this one was too good to pass up on and not show you guys, especially for those people that do have prize picks. Uh, but 17.5 first half fantasy score. You're not going to be able to find that many other places. Uh, but this one's looking really, really good here. And I got his uh, charts pulled up. I'm going to let that do the speaking for us. He's gone over in five of six games against this Heat team so far this year. Uh, one of these games he played horribly as well and still crushed that line. I think it was this game right here, 23.7. So he's able to get some block shots. He's obviously able to score um, which he didn't in this first half or in this game at all, and he still crushed this line. Um, but yeah, he's been consistently going over this. But it's not just against the Heat. It's really against anyone. 70% hit rate for the entire year on this line. A lot of these coming at the second half of the year as well. Uh, so since he's got his footing you know, with the Celtics team, knows how to play with them, I mean, look at all the greens. So I really like this one. I think these first half lines, these lines that don't have as much data behind them, they get wrong sometimes. Wouldn't be surprised if this cl climbs up to 18, 18.5, even higher in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, he's been crushing this. Hopefully Porzingis comes out hot. Spolstra might try to limit him. I don't know if that's going to be the game plan. We never know with the Heat. Uh, but yeah, loving Porzingis here. There's not much I can show you in terms of market value because not a lot of uh, apps have this. Um, but I just, I really like this one. I've seen Porzingis time and time again be a first quarter player, first half player. And then it's kind of the Tatum show and uh, the Brown show at the end of games. So yeah, loving Porzingis here. That's going to be our second play of the day. And then before we jump into our last play of the video, I do want to shout out the Discord community. This is something I started a few months ago. People are always talking props, talking lines in here. Um, you get access to all of my slips, which I think a lot of people are attracted to. Uh, but I think even more so, you get access to a cool community, a bunch of like-minded people in the same spot, talking NBA, MLB, esports, whatever it might be, uh, pointing out discounts on different apps, all these different types of things. So we have a lot of fun in here. A lot of laughs uh, and people just having you know a good time trying to make some money doing something that they really enjoy, which is you know sports, sports betting, sports watching, whatever it might be. It's twenty dollars a month to get in here, uh, but you can get in here plenty of ways for free. Uh, like I mentioned, Prize Picks, but also Underdog, Chalkboard, Sleeper, and Dabble. They're my favorite DFS platforms. They're partners of the channel, and you can get free. Uh, you can get up to like a hundred dollars on welcome bonuses, up to five hundred dollars on Sleeper, and they also just have you know cool perks on themselves. So. Underdog has been throwing promotions at us all the time, whether it's a free square, discounted square, they, that's when you want to attack those values. So you don't have to play Underdog or you don't have to play Sleeper every day, but it's nice to have those apps when they do have these promos, discounts, free squares, whatever it might be, that's when you can go ahead and attack them. Uh, and all of these will equate to a free month. So if you sign up for prize picks, DM me with a screenshot, say, hey, use your code for prize picks. And I'll say, yeah, I'll get you right in for a free month. But you can get up to six months free because uh, this also equates DG Fantasy for a free month also, which is the tool um, that I popped up right here for that first pick with Brandon Ingram. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend checking this out. Again, plenty of ways to get in here for free. We have a lot of fun, and I think you'd enjoy it, especially if you're at this point in the video. Um, go ahead and check us out. And then moving along to our final pick, it's going to be another first half play just because I can't resist it. Uh, looking really good. 13.0 first half points for Anthony Davis. Someone that's played extremely well in this series, and I don't think it's going to get talked about a lot especially if these guys lose it 4-1. Uh, but Davis has been consistent. doesn't matter if he's home or away. Uh, this season, he hasn't missed this line once against the Nuggets, and they've played a decent amount of games. So going into his outlier page here, this is uh, away games. I shouldn't have showed this first, but 64% uh, of games dating back to 2022, he's gone over this. 
That doesn't include a push here, a push here, which doesn't hurt us, which really means he's only gone under this in three games out of 14 uh, in the past, I don't know how many matchups. But specifically this year, has played each other one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. A lot of times crushing this line. And uh, again, hasn't gone under once against the Nuggets. Then you think about it as an away game. You know, he's one of the guys that steps up in away games. Sometimes D'Lo disappears. Sometimes Reeves disappears in these away uh, games against the Nuggets. But Davis has been pretty consistent crushing these lines in most of the games. So I do like to see that as well. Uh, and then in terms of 2023 as a whole, 50% hit rate. So nothing to ride home about there. I guess that's away games. Uh, but 50% for the entire year as well. So uh, he's been consistent, playing really well, playing a lot of minutes in these first halves, sometimes up to 20 minutes in the first half, uh, like he did last game. And uh, I think he continues that. He's, he's uh, Jokic is a big body. He's a uh, good player all around, one of the best in the league, MVP, all these different things. Um, but he has a, tough, he has a uh, tough task in trying to stop Anthony Davis when he's healthy, and we've seen that. Um, again, not one that I can show you odds and market value, like I typically do, this video is actually going to be very short uh, compared to my other videos. Um, but again, I, I couldn't resist these first half plays uh, with Davis and Porzingis just because they're looking extremely well, good. Look, I mean, just look at this head to head and uh, playing, you know, win or go home, extra oomph, all these different things going into this pick. So AD uh, over first half points. I'm loving that one too. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I think it's going to be shorter. I've got to edit this down, but uh, typically we do deep dives on the odds and all these different things. Um, but maybe you like these shorter videos a little bit better. But real quick uh, recap here, AD 13.0 first half points, Porzingis over 17.5 first half fantasy score, and then Ingram stay locked up in the Dorcher chamber under, under 32.0 uh, points, rebounds, and assists. In terms of the video picks from last time, we usually do a recap as well. Um, I forgot to pull those up, but I think we did them on underdog, and I think we went one and two. Uh, our hit was Halliburton over points. Our misses were... Patrick Beverly over 1.5 blocks and steals. He only got one. And then our other miss was PJ Washington, who needed uh, 18 points and rebounds. He ended up getting 15, but he got ejected in that game. So kind of a uh, unfortunate one there for us. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, going to try to start this week off hot like we did yesterday in the Discord. Having a lot of fun making these picks. It's all about entertainment at the end of the day. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. It never has been, never will be. Think about it like the stock market. Sometimes your stocks are booming. Sometimes you're going to have a crappy month. And uh, that's kind of what April's been doing. Um, but, you know, just a few few good days and uh, we'll be right back on track even for this month. Haven't had a uh, losing month yet in the Discord. Not going to try to make that happen, you know, a couple days here in April. Uh, so hopefully going to have a good day today and uh, close out the month out hot. But, um, yeah, subscribe, like the video, comment anything down below. Let me know if you guys enjoy this. I know I'm kind of... Uh, you know, just kind of upfront, normal person when I talk about these plays. Um, I'm not trying to put on a show for you guys. I just want to show you some plays that I like and uh, show you the reasons why I like them. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow or if you're in the Discord, I'll check you out in there. Um, but yeah, peace out.